In just a few hours, the Huntsville Fallen Officers Memorial will be surrounded by community members to honor Fallen Officer Garrett Crumby and Officer Albert Morin, who is still recovering from Tuesday's shooting at Huntsville Hospital. Way 31's Megan Reyna is live there with what we can expect at this candlelight vigil. Megan. Dan, you can expect to see gentlemen and people like Sonny here. Sonny, what is your name? Sanders. Sonny Sanders. Sanders. He just came here moments ago to place flowers down here at the Fallen Officers Memorial. Sonny, you're a retired police officer, correct? Yes, Talk about why you wanted to come out and show your respect. Well, it's a brotherhood. It's, it's a family. Um, I've been retired for almost 10 years, and it's still that family. We, just, we don't forget. We always carry on and support all we can. And there's so much risk that goes into being a police officer. Talk about that. So much has changed over the last few years about policing and how it's done. And uh, it, it's not like it was when I was a police officer. Uh, it's changed and all these guys have to, uh, you know, conform to different restraints and what they can and can't do. And, you know, it, it's never it's a never ending danger for them to come out and serve the public. So when you heard about this, this officer dying and another officer in the hospital, what was your first thoughts that went through your head? It's just gut wrenching. You can't, there's, you, you can't describe a thought like that. You, you can't put it into words on how uh, you feel. You feel for them. You feel for their family. You feel for the entire law enforcement family because we have all lost. Absolutely. Well, I thank you so much for coming out here and, and just I had to bring him on camera and show you all and, and talk to him just right here because, again, this is why they're holding this candlelight vigil here tonight at 7 o'clock in just a matter of hours so folks around the community can show their support for our fallen officer and, of course, fellow officer Albert Morin, who is still in the hospital with a long road ahead to recovery. So again, anyone welcome to come out here at seven for this candlelight vigil. You'll be hearing from several pastors and you'll also be able just to show your support to this department and the families of those two officers. Reporting live in Huntsville, Megan Reyna, Way 31 News.